So my name is uh, Koi Tirima. Um, uh, my professional title is Professor Koi Tirima, and I am the Vice Chancellor of Cavendish University, Uganda. Um, and um, I'm writing and researching about the role of women leaders. And uh, my friend and I, Wanjiro Ikua, are writing a book about. Uh, which is really going to be a toolkit for East African leaders, women leaders, and we're targeting the middle leadership ranks all the way to the top. And we want to share our, our life lessons and our life stories and gather life stories from other women leaders um, to give our women, our sisters, a realistic look at what it means to be an African woman and still be a leader because it's not the same as what everyone might assume just because we've read um, Sandelberg's Lean In or uh, The Art of War for Women. Those are written in specific Western oriented cultures that are not always relevant for us. Um, as a Vice Chancellor, I have knelt down before a Ugandan man who is older than me because that was the right thing to do in that context. It didn't remove from me and in fact increased my power and influence. And so it's, it's those things that we're looking at, at doing, is creating a, a book on how to become, a toolkit on how to become a, a remarkable African woman leader. For our context, of course, we're looking at East Africa because I'm not a South African and I'm not a West African and I'm not a North African, but I know this context. Uh, at least we're collecting stories from this context. And, and a good example of, of my learnings over the last seven or so years is when I first came back from the United States. I had, you know, newly minted PhD professorship. I was tenured in an American university. And um, I thought I knew better. And so um, because of my skill and my, and my qualifications, I was given a deanship. I was the youngest dean, actually, um, for maybe in, in Kenya at that time. And um, one of my co-deans, I remember we were meeting for Senate, and he says to me, in our language, which sounded very derogatory, young girl, can you bring me a cup of tea? And I remember the war in my soul. Because I was like, how the heck did he just call me a young girl? Don't even know I got a big PhD and all I'm all that. You know, I'm the cat's meow, you know? And, um, but I felt the Lord hush me, you know, just hush me down. And he reminded me that I need this gentleman to move the agenda item that was under my head. And I brought him a cup of tea. I almost tipped it in his lap, to be honest, but I, by the grace of God, didn't do that. But I mean, I think now, now that I'm where I am, I look back and I think, I wish somebody had told me a lot of things that I now know when I was beginning to become a woman leader because I made some significant mistakes that limited my influence and I didn't have to make. So that's, that's the idea.